there is a common theme and it usually deals with engineering of the project, uh, construction defects, or failure in materials. Based upon very, very preliminary information, it appears that that theme will play out in this case as well. Right now at six, Hard Rock developers speaking out for the first time since the deadly collapse of the construction site, who they believe could be responsible for the whole ordeal. And students walk out of Einstein Charter School today. The issues children and their parents are taking a stand against. Plus, the latest from day six of the Senate impeachment trial. WDSU News at six starts right now. Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News at 6. First at 6, developers of the collapsed Hard Rock Hotel say that they are not to blame for the deadly disaster. Good evening, I'm Gina Swanson. And I'm Travers Mackle. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have new details about the plan to implode the building. And just hours ago, the lawyer for the developers spoke out for the very first time, passing blame to the contractors and the engineers. While frustration grows over the Hard Rock Hotel site with marches and protest Hard Rock, take the building down. and city council members calling for their own investigation, the lawyer for developers is now speaking out. I mean, we just wanted to make clear uh, that we are not the contractor, we are not the engineer. Carrie Miller represents 1031 Canal Development, the group that owns the property. The primary shareholder is Mohan Kalis and his family. And more than 100 days after the collapse, Miller gave us an indication of what may have happened. But what we do know is um, there was nothing that the owner did to cause this to happen. When you study these kind of incidences, hotel, bridge collapse, there was one in Florida in 2018, there is a common theme and it usually deals with engineering of the project, uh, construction defects, or failure in materials. Based upon very, very preliminary information, it appears that that theme will play out in this case as well. The point contractor is Citadel Builders. They declined to comment through a spokesperson, but they're also a minority partner with the Kalis family on the development site. No one knew that this was going to happen. Last week, a tarp covering a body of one of the deceased workers flew off, exposing the remains. It was later covered up by the city. Miller says the owners look to bring in military experienced extraction teams to remove the two bodies still inside, but the building is too unstable. It wasn't safe for even a world qualified extraction team to go in and deal with those bodies. A controlled implosion is set for mid to late March. The city says the developer and the contractor will foot the bill. Miller tells us the building is set to be rigged with ground level explosives over the next few weeks.